Hi friends. Uh, so today uh, we'll be taking up a simple analysis of a uh, truss structure. Actually, it's a truss uh, bridge made up of truss. So it's an analysis of a bridge, a small bridge made up of truss members. What we will consider is uh, the trusses are made up of I sections, and the road over which uh, 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 that vehicles will be playing, uh, we will make it uh, as a cell section. So you see that bridge structure, if you have the dimensions, you can always make a structure like this. So the structure which you are seeing now uh, is made up of uh, curves and points. It's not elements basically. So what you are going to do is, uh, if you have the points and uh, this thing, coordinates and all, you can make your own bridge structure. It's quite simple. So what I'm going to do is just uh, uh, we will mesh mesh it and start meshing it. So just we are orienting for our simplicity like this and create mesh. And we need not make uh, multiple groups for this because the structure is pretty simple. So mesh curves. So I'll select all the curves. Here okay, this one and this one also yes so it is meshed now what we'll do is we'll quickly assign properties to it uh, see uh, in the materials one aluminium one material is already considered uh, we will go ahead with this okay uh, now for assigning property uh, create 1d beam Sh say we are assigning properties to this element so i'll just write here uh, Truss vertical members. Okay, so here we will choose uh, uh, materials. Let us select it as aluminium, and here this one we will choose it as uh, some sections are already taken. Uh, so we will go ahead with this at present. You see, I sections. Okay, uh, multiple sections are already taken. So uh, let's use it okay you see here already some sections are taken you can also sele select it all you need to do is just collect select the sections and put in this values of w t h1 h2 uh, presently the section selected is for that i sections okay then okay and then apply and okay and it will be there you can find it over here it will be listed down so here we are seeing like this and uh, power orientation we have to select we are presently assigning properties to these elements uh, which are vertical uh, so you can see that uh, they basically will be uh, the cross section will basically in the yz plane so we can write here 0 1 0 considering the cross section is uh, in the yz plane you can write 0 1 0 or 0 0 1 anything and in the application region what i'm going to do is just assign it to this particular element so i'll just select it it is selected add ok and apply uh, to see whether we have properly selected or not just go for uh, 3d full span and see it's like this so we wanted it to be like this you can also reorient it that's not a problem uh, so i'll just go back to 1d and we are left with uh, assigning properties of the top section so i'll just see orient the view like this it will be easier for us to assign properties so I'll just uh, create another uh, property set. I'll write it here horizontal horizontal members. Okay, and here you see horizontal members. Uh, here mostly it will be in the that cross section will be in the exit plane. So I have to create here either one uh, zero zero or zero zero one. Okay. And in the application region, we have to consider all the uh, horizontal members. It 
select it all at a time now it is thus created now we will again see how it looks like in the 3d full span uh, just see it is looks like this okay now we see that we have missed out in this particular things uh, for this elements properties are not assigned yet so what we'll do is uh, that also needs to be done so if we see it uh, in this view uh, what i'll do is just i'll uh, uh, create another say trust members simply and those members you can see uh, the cross section will be in the yz plane so input properties will be either 0 1 0 or 0 0 1 so uh, you have to select this elements add then we have to select these elements add you can make separate groups also for simplicity that will be good add ok apply it is applied now we will see that uh, 3d full span view once again okay. uh, it is like this now uh, that button portions that also we have to assign properties so create 1d now bridge column I am just naming naming it like this now here it will be a uh, rod and setting so you can see that uh, the rod selected is that 20 let's see in 3d full span how it looks like so here it is lying on uh, the xy plane since it is rod uh, we can have either uh, 100 or 010 it is symmetric so it doesn't make any difference so in the application region just select the entire columns where over which the entire bridge structure is resting so see it is like this uh, now friends what we are uh, left with is we have to assign property to the road portion so that is this one so we have not meshed it yet so what we are going to do is uh, I'll just first mesh it create mesh two curves say I'll first select this one and this one then this one and this one this one and this one this 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 one and this one this is the automatic mesh by pattern okay you can also set your own control element size whatever is required so i'll quickly go for an equivalence uh, see some 87 nodes are deleted that is there is no duplicate node at any particular point uh, now having done this uh, we have to assign properties to the road i'll select it here as road so in the input property material the same aluminium we are taking for this tutorial I'll assign a thickness of 2 mm out here and we are assigning to all the elements which constitutes the uh, road now you see element properties are assigned for all the elements that is uh, here it is written that no elements without properties found that is found fine and now we will assign some uh, displacement so I'll write here one two three okay. so I'm just uh, fixing the translations in the ground support that is for this node this node this one and this one is done you can see here one two three is assigned for this uh, four nodes 
Uh, now what we're going to do is we'll apply some pressure loads over here. So create pressure and right here assuming that the road of the surface is going to be pressurized I'll say it is a 10 megapascal pressure so so it is telling that uh, the face of the elements sorry uh, 3d elements are selected we will actually select 2d so in the top surface I will select 20 MPa as the pressure so I will select all the quad elements under considerations ok and apply so you see uh, it is applied from the bottom we don't really want it like this so I will just modify pressure whatever is created and here we'll just delete here and put it in the bottom face 20 ok apply so it's like this a uniform pressure of 20 is applied we'll just refresh it so now nothing is remaining and just see in the 3d full span the total thing how it looks like so it's like this uh, total bridge structure ok and now we will analyze it So analysis, entire model, analysis, deck, say apply, okay, go out and go for Nestran, the, find out the BDF file wherever you have kept. We will check whether there is any fatal message or not. If it is not there, then we'll go ahead with the uh, post processing activities. Okay, it's not there. So now what we're going to do is access result, select result file. Okay, you see the analysis. In the stress tensor, just select Z1 and Z2, that is both the surfaces of the quad. And see, it's like this because here it was not really held at any point. Okay. The total structure should have been held at some point. So it is not held, that is why it is falling down what we could have done is uh, here we uh, should have fixed these two points these points with the end point so we will do it in the load and boundary conditions what we are going to do is modify displacement so in this just add this nodes because we assume that these nodes are the endpoint nodes where it will be supported somewhere. We'll run the analysis once again. Let's find out the difference. again one job which was already posted we'll analyze it once again Result just one minute. I'll just delete all the previous result. Result cases also we will delete. Now it's been deleted, so we will attach the result file once again. Okay. Now come to the result file and we'll see the stresses being developed in the structure. 
and just you see it is like this uh, you can see it better if I just post the picture like this you can see what was the earlier shape and how it has gone down so it's like this and if you see the displacements I put on displacement translational see it is like this so it is telling stating that uh, wherever it is held no it is being less displaced or it is less stressed you can see the stress plot just like this so if I animate it is telling the entire bridge can have movements like this because here is a huge gap uh, between two simply supported sections uh, so further you strengthen this section the lesser will be the displacements because uh, here see the displacements whatever we are getting uh, the maximum displacement sorry it is not coming and uh, the maximum displacement of the order of 873 mm so that is quite high uh, it is we are getting it in the middle so as we have assumed the pressure load so uh, it's quite high so it's a, since it is a study thing so it suggests that uh, the pressure load of 20 megapascal is uh, a bit too high for a uh, 2 mm material thickness so we, what we can do is we can have multiple optimization of this model uh, just select uh, this thickness uh, whatever presently assigned is 2 mm just assign it as 6 mm or 8 mm uh, this displacement at the center point between uh, two fixed column will uh, come down significantly uh, so that's it friends uh, once we know the concepts we can have uh, n number of analysis and uh, once you have meshed the model and set proper boundary conditions you can simply uh, do n number of analysis n number of iterations uh, with material properties with the thickness with the stiffness uh, with the materials okay uh, if you have uh, how to validate the theoretical uh, these things models and all to really understand the theory behind the analysis you can contact us uh, through our website uh, www.dsnaerospace.com uh, write to us in uh, marketing at the rate of dsnaerospace.com about your feedback of these problems uh, should you find it difficult to do any uh, complicated mo model like this uh, do get back to us we can organize one webinar and can get back to you okay so